Okay, so this is the the, the bright projector we're going to test today. I'm just going to open up and have a look, see what we get inside the box first of all. A set of instructions, quick start guide, home theatre projector. Okay, looks nice and straightforward. Good clear instructions. We have got a letter. Tips. Okay, tips on using the projector. A VGA cable, a regular VGA cable. Remember they only, they don't transmit sound. Power cable. Uh, audio for left, right, and video. So single input from left, right, and video. Cleaning cloth, and finally a remote control, which I guess is going to need two AA batteries, or AAA batteries probably. And then we have the projector itself. So let's just get a bit closer and have a look at the projector. Okay, so screen lens um, cap on the front by the looks of it. That's fairly standard. Pull that off. That's a nice big lens uh, cap. We've then got obviously the main lens itself, cooling fans, infrared receiver on that side, cooling fans down the other side, and on the back we have a variety of uh, inputs. And you've got your power supply and an on and an off. You've got audio, okay, you've got a headphone socket and an AV socket, so that's for that adapter, that's for your headphones. Two um, Two USB ports, okay, two HDMI cables, and a VGA output, and another cooling fan on the back. Always good to have cooling fans. And on the side here, we're going to have one of these will be for focus, and one of these will be for your um, your shift, okay, for when you get a trapezoidal um, image, you can shift it. Um, some some devices have it automatic, but it's always nice to be able to change it. We'll look at that later. And on top. You've got a selection of buttons, um, you've got a ring control here, um, there's going to be on off power and a variety of other things there for you to, to control it. Okay, So it's fairly compact, it's not tiny, but it's, port it's, tiny, it's portable but not tiny. So I'm going to set it up now and we'll have a look at it in action. So that's me in a moderately light, in fact fairly light, I've got three quite large windows in this room. It's a big room. Um, that's the clarity, it's br perfectly bright enough. Uh, you can get brighter, but you have to pay a lot more. It's a pretty decent machine. Um, the two dials on the side I'm going to use for my focus, just to get my perfect focus. And that's your uh, trapezoidal shift, if it's not correct. That looks all right to me. Probably get the focus a little bit better, maybe. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So this is the general um, configuration. You obviously got, uh, it's saying no device, photos, music, movie, and ebooks. Um, and if I go to input, I can now choose between USB 1, USB 2, two HDMIs, an AV, and a PC input. Okay. But I'm just going to have a look at the menu settings that you can get. The first um, control you've got is your picture control. You can see you've got various picture modes, colour aspect, um, aspect ratios, colour and all the rest of it. You've also got your sound control. Um, I'm not sure what auto volume off is, but uh, you've got auto volume, you've got surround sound and everything, and you've got an equaliser as well if you want to. Then you've got your on-screen language, factory default, rotating it, blending, um, and on-screen display duration. You can also do your tuning if it had an AV input and you've got your software update there, but you'd need to update that from a USB pen drive. Now, what I'm going to do now is go to the input selection, and this is where you can now select all your inputs. I've got a 2 terabyte hard drive connected to USB 1 with some music pictures and a movie on, so I'm going to select that. In fact, it's also because I didn't press anything, it went automatically to USB 2, so I'm just going to choose. USB 1, and I'm going to start off um, with a photo. I've got some photos in there, so I'll show you what it looks like with a photo. So that's it displaying some photographs of old. Okay, so that's perfectly a uh, perfectly decent picture for uh, displaying pictures. Uh, we're going to try and see what the music sounds like now. First of all, I'm going to play music through the internal speakers. And then I'm going to put my external speakers in. So let's just have a listen to some music. 
So that's the internal speakers. They're perfectly acceptable. You'd be able to watch a movie in a room with that. Okay, nothing wrong with that at all. Plug my external speakers into the headphone socket and you can see you've got a whole new level of, of audio sound. Okay, and then you've got your controls at the bottom if you want to. Right, and we're going to have a quick look at the movie as well, see what the movie quality is like. So that's the internal speakers playing the film, and then hopefully with the external speakers. You're the biggest drama queen, amigo. Me? <laughs> so that's you, Carlos. You're like you 200 pounds of drama, drama with a red collar. Oh, really? This conversation is over. No, no, no. So that's it playing through. Uh, a Blu-ray player. And that's going to fit it.